what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework, Handin. Any second now. Chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm 5 at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move, Krang! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr Ha Ha's. Fantastic! Careful, Den. It's infectious. <laughs> case of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of milk, spoonful of mustard, topped with a squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr <laughs> Ha-Ha's got any ideas. Seeing as it was his can of giggles that <laughs> caused the problem. Ah, 
I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. <sighs> Grass again. <sighs> we could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. <laughs> Why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, there's only one way to cure them. With a sudden fright. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha? <gasps> Problem. <gasps> can of giggles. <gasps> hiccups. Oh, dear. Did you open the can in a confined space? <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle-ups. You need this special supplement. The Cano Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle-ups. <laughs> Cure number one, balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the Ha Ha Mega Jumbo Pencil. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So... We sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? nothing? Nothing! Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, how would Crank Power Up do this? Crang! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <coughs> wanted. <coughs> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. <coughs> it should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, just having a laugh. <laughs> just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups. <laughs> and you're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> well, this do for camouflage. Wow, pie face. How did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush! <laughs> Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! <laughs> 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 Pie face, what are you playing at? <gasps> it was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're <laughs> useless. <laughs> at this rate, I'll miss the <laughs> movie and I'll never get to show <laughs> Crank Power Up with special <laughs> move. Dennisy Wennessy. Our favourite little nephew. Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright. Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties. <laughs> you were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured. Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. In crunch of fists three, Mr. Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here, and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me. Oh, 
Attention, class! Today we're visiting an important archaeological site where traces of the lost tribe of Beano Town have been found. How exciting! I could be descended from a mighty warrior! Mmm, lemon drops. <coughs> I don't know about a mighty warrior, Walter. <coughs> but those lemon drops are pretty fierce. My organic citrus fizzers are meant to be savoured, Dennis, not guzzled. <gasps> it's awesome! It's tiny. <gasps> oh, boys, really? What's that dog doing here? Ah, oh, well, he's interested in bones, you see, and... Oh, never mind. We'll discuss it later. Uh, you were saying? Yes, this buckle is evidence that Beano Town was once home to a warrior tribe. Ancient heroes. Did someone say hero? The name's Montana Smith. I believe you're expecting me. Oh, Professor Smith! It's such an honor to meet you! I've read all your books! Oh, pleasure. Always glad to meet a lover of archaeology. Now, stand back, Walter. Uh, Professor Smith here is on, uh, he's on p police business. He's uh, helping track down the ancient scroll that was stolen from Beano Town Museum last week. Oh, I never realised archaeologists could be so handsome and rugged. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, come along, children. Uh, let's see what interesting artefacts we can find. More buckles? I don't think so. I bet we could find some real Warrior Tribe stuff. Come on! Nash! Wow! Looks like Nash is onto something. <laughs> Hang on, Nasher. We're not looking for bones. <laughs> And that's all there is to know about trowels, spades, and digging implements. Oh, uh, terribly sorry about that. Um, uh, I seem to have lost Montana Smith. Um, did he come this way? <laughs> Nasher! Stop! Wait, Wait Oh, I see. What, what is going on? Come back here with that bone! Oh, leave this to me. I have a great deal of experience with this kind of thing. I've got to see this. It'll serve him right, running riot over such a sensitive site of historical importance. Can't you make him let go, then? I'm trying, but it's been a while since breakfast. Dennis! Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, come on, Nasha, let go. We've got to get out of here. We've given them the slip. Check this out. I knew it. It's not Walter. It's me. I'm descended from the ancient warrior tribe. Mmm, an ancient warrior pie. Oh, Mrs. Creature, I found them. <laughs> How do you boys find me? Uh, I mean, uh, get down here. It's not safe. I don't get it. What's he doing down here? He must have known about the trap door. Dude, look. The scroll from the museum. You stole it. You got it, kid. I knew about the trap door, all right. The scroll led me right to the pie button. You're not an archaeologist at all. 
Why'd you steal it? The treasure of the lost tribe. <laughs> it's gonna make me rich. Oh, a word of advice. Don't try to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure of the Lost Tribe. What's with the weird moves? Come on, we've got to stop him. We got to defend my ancestor's treasure. I just can't believe it, Professor Smith. I, I don't understand. I thought you. <laughs> 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 Must be hundreds of years old. God, no wonder they whiff. That's why Smith was doing those strange moves. That scroll tells him where the booby traps are, too. <laughs> no time to hang around, Walter. If we follow Smith, He'll lead us to the treasure of the lost tribe. Just get me down! Don't worry, that rope's so old it'll break any... <laughs> Moment! <sighs> Leave me alone! I'm fine! I'm just a bit dizzy, that's all. The Lost Tribe! And that's gotta be King Dennis! Hey, you leave my ancestor stuff alone! Sorry, Sonny. I'm here for the treasure. And I'm not gonna let a bunch of meddling kids stop me. Okay, boys, the game's over. Here, Walter, you got any of those lemon drops left? Yes. Why? Just give them to me. <laughs> Told you they were thieves. Oh, no, 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 no sign of them. Oh, but don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll track them down. <laughs> Dennis and his friends are always off somewhere getting up to mischief, but it's most unusual for Walter to disappear. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Hang on. I recognise this. So do I. It's awful, isn't it? Dennis, a descendant from a warrior tribe! It's part of the treasure of the lost tribe. Where did you find it? There's a cave full of the stuff, and he was going to run off with it. It was Montana who stole the ancient scroll from the museum. He was using it to find the treasure. No, not Montana Smith. I say, you're an absolute disgrace. The whole profession of archaeology is embarrassed. There's a turn up for the books. Oh, uh, right. Well, I had, uh, I'd better take you down the station, um, Montana. Well done, Dennis. That'll teach you to mess with the warrior tribes of Dennis. I'm telling you, 
It's the answer to all our treehouse security problems. Forget the stink bomb minefield, forget the laser guided jelly flinger. This is the simple, practical solution. OK, so where exactly do we get a shark for this shark infested mold? Yeah, only sharks I ever seen have been in pies. <laughs> Relax, boys. We don't need a real shark. Just this. The XJ3000 Remote Control Robo Security Shark. Scary or what? <gasps> Not half as scary as the price. Not a problem. It's me birthday next week. All me relatives can chip in and get me it, right? <laughs> Security Shark, eh? Nice. I'll ring all the relatives, get them over here and let them know. Great. Half an hour and the house will be swarming with rich and generous aunties and uncles. So what do you say? Does our boy get the birthday goods or what? Got to say, Nasha, I was hoping for a better turnout than this. Where's the other 19? Come on. One little security shark. Not much to ask for, is it, Auntie Beryl? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but year after year, we give that lad presents and not once has he ever said thank you. Well, he's got a busy schedule, hasn't he? Whoopee cushions don't inflate themselves, you know. <laughs> no, Dennis needs to be taught a lesson. So this year, for his birthday, we've all decided to get him nothing. Just say thanks now. That wouldn't cut it. I need to make a big impression and fast. What about writing a load of belated thank you letters? Hmm, letters. Yeah! <laughs> They'd never expect that. It's a lot of letters, though. 23 relatives times nine years times two again for Christmas and birthdays equals. equals writer's cramp. As soon as the old relations get these, Dennis will be their favourite is lovable lad again. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town Police Station. Oh, what? <laughs> yes. oh right away, ma'am. <laughs> oh, <Hello, Bino. laughs> <laughs> Well, you did right not to open them, ma'am. Letters from Dennis. Who knows what's in them? Stink bombs, itching powder, live beetles. What? No! Don't worry. They'll be safely destroyed, along with the rest. But, Auntie Beryl, they were just... Oh, poor Dennis. I've got to get hold of those letters and show everyone the truth. OK, Nasha, looks like we'll have to think of some other way to say thank you. All my relatives use this road, see? One big thank you sign here and everybody likes Dennis again. Um, Dennis, your Auntie Beryl, does she ride a bike? Mm, yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Auntie. Uh, you're right up there, Auntie Beryl. <laughs> See? Every present I ever gave him. Taking them all back, I am. Back, I say. <laughs> all personnel clear blast zone. Uh, uh, explosion in T minus ten seconds. <laughs> I've never done a controlled explosion before, Sarge. Hang on. You're the officer in charge. Shouldn't you be doing the big red plunder thingy? Eh? Um, oh, yes. Oh, I suppose I should. Ah, but didn't he say you could do the big red plunger thingy? Yes, he did. Fair's fair, Sarge. Oi! Give us that back. No, you promised. Constable Cough Drop. 
Step away from the big red plunger thingy. Skywriting? Toy plane plus joke smoke canister for Mr. Ha Ha's equals a great big thank you in the sky. That's got to impress him. Oh, I've had as much experience with big red plunger thingies as you. Oh, I'm the senior officer, and that's that. Five, four. OK, here goes. One. What? All right, why on earth have you called us all back here? It's about these. <laughs> oh! Have you taken leave of your senses? Those letters will be booby trapped. Rubbish! They're just thank you letters. Look, I'll open one. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they'd be booby trapped. So, what's that meant to say then? Lumagusligunag? I don't guess it. I'm the one that's going to get it in about five minutes. Dennis! Make that three. Ideas, boys! And quick! How else could you write thank you in big gigantic letters no one can miss? Blimey! Better go see what's up. Look after my white line painting machine for me, would you, lads? One huge thank you right across that hillside. That ought to... Dennis! OK, lads, you're on your own. Don't let me down. Think Mum would like a little word. Uh, smoke? There's been smoke, has there? Yes, there's been smoke from your booby-trapped letters. What? No! So now we're taking everything back, and we mean everything. Great. All I wanted to do was say thanks. Do they really think I'm that horrible? Me, Dennis, the little lad. Chill up, Dennis. Grand's here. <laughs> Last letter wasn't booby trapped. There was a smoke canister on this, um, which we know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> oh. I am not opening that letter. Mm, you may cabbage. Open the letter, or I lock the doors and give B the cabbage. Why didn't you just say they were thank you letters? <laughs> oh, I always said he was a good boy. Maybe now we can discuss what you'd like for your birthday. Yes! Result! Just as long as nothing else gets destroyed or defaced. Oops. Here goes then! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, aunties! Oh, thank you! You're right, mate. Forget the white line thing! I... Oh. 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 Where's the steering wheel? Where's the brakes? Where's my mum? Oh. Say, is this the way to the town hall? Hmm, that could have gone better. Five miles of paint to clean and no birthday <gasps> presents. Think again, Dennis. Guess what super brilliant grand went and got you? That shark you wanted! Got it from this bloke down at the pubsy. Anyway, I had to stick the thing in the bath. Good idea. Check it all works. Nice relaxing bath. That's what I need after a day like today. Well, it won't be long. So, have you got the shark's remote control there, Gran? Eh? Since when did a shark need a remote control? Um, Gran, you do know it's not a real shark I wanted. Eh? Oh! Ah, is! Oh, my word! Laundry. 
sorry, not a tent. If you want to go camping, Dad will take you. Won't you, dear? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. Yahoo! Nasha, we're going camping! Yes, yes. Fit. I used to be top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, you know. Yay! Camping is going to be so cool! So, what did you do in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, Dad? It was brilliant, Dennis. Living outdoors, finding our own food, recognizing all the different plants and animals. <gasps> really? What's this called? Oh, well, that's a. Uh, uh, that, that, that's a rare specimen, actually. Uh, let, let me What's think. that tree called? Yeah. And that bird? What well, kind of grass is this? What's that, Dad? Stinging nettles? Funny, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, look what you've done to my bivouac. Your bivouac? A bivouac is a shelter made from branches, leaves and moss. Oh, I thought it was just a funny-looking tent. Tents are for softies. I made that myself. Name's Tough. Terry Tough. Well, it couldn't have been much good if it broke so easily. Bet my dad could build a better one. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he knows all about that outdoorsy stuff. He was top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack. Was he now? I suppose you're an expert at bivy building then. Absolutely. Possibly. Uh, I might have missed that meeting. But, Dad, I, I thought you said... But, yes, I do know a thing or two about the great outdoors. Go on, Dad, you tell him. Really? So, you wouldn't mind proving that then? <laughs> Not at all. This your tent? Yes, but I... Now, put it back up. I'll build a new bivouac. See who's quickest. <laughs> Looks like one nil to tough, Nasha. <laughs> now, let's see how good you are at fire lighting, eh? Oh. <laughs> it's hard work, this. Of course, you know how to make herbal tea. I think Dad might have been exaggerating the whole Top Scout thing. <coughs> Not at all. In fact, I'm just getting warmed up. What's next? Way to go, Dad. You tell him. What's next? Oh, I think I've got just the thing. Bring it on. That's Mount Beano. First one to the top and back is the best outdoorsman. Agreed? Agreed! And one other thing. The loser leaves the campsite and never comes back. Well, if that's how you want it, fine. Are you sure you need all this stuff, Dad? <sighs> A Beano Town wolf cub should be prepared for anything. <laughs> See you later. Don't get lost. Wow, he's fast. Dad, we'd better get moving if we want to keep up. Dad? Just checking the direction, Dennis. Now, was it the wet finger into the wind means north? Or... Let's just head for Mount Beano. Or was it see which way the grass blows and divide by the angle of the sun? I can't remember. Ah, 
well, uh, l let me think. That? Ah! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 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 oh back off, Billy. Oh, 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 oh. Gives me an idea, though. I don't believe it. They're gaining on me. <laughs> but if something was to slow them down, by accident, of course. Ugh. Oh, I'm suddenly very tired. Must be the mountain air. Goodness, was that me? Oops. <laughs> it didn't look so high from down there. Come on, Dad. We're almost at the top. Just don't look down. You're right, Dennis. Don't look down. Mustn't look down. Dad! <laughs> Tonight are way out of my allowance. 
allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr. Magnifico fight. Mr. Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh, come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you? Have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. <laughs> First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of junior first aider. With your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a First Aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your First Aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean... How hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. <laughs> ah, there. That's our studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic yeah. bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just... My... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up, Nasha. Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Frozen chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> is suffering from heat stroke. What do you do to help? 
Uh, cool him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy. Nasha, jumper. <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. Job done. Uh, hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. I'm on it, Mum. Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <gasps> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> Get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! What about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster. We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. <laughs> uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr Magnifico. Uh, payback time. <laughs> <laughs> Ed 
Here's your Beano Town weather forecast. Cloudy all week, with a chance of clouds this weekend. Boring! It's the Beano Town Founders' Day bonfire tomorrow, so get ready for the gravy toss, pelter vicar, and our famous Beano Town homemade jam off. More boring! And in breaking news, a mysterious bat creature was spotted yesterday in Beano Town Park. Still boring! What? Bat creature? Awesome! Nasha, let's go! We gotta catch it! Dennis, you are not catching a bat. They're dangerous. But, Dad, it's not a bat. It's a bat creature. Sit and eat your breakfast. That's an order. What do you think, Nasha? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. We need to investigate. Now, if I was a bat creature, where would I hide? <laughs> what is he, boy? <laughs> Bloody footprints! Bat creature! Nasha, you know what this means! There's a vampire in Beano Town! Pieface, you're the vampire expert. How do we catch it? Uh, according to issue number four of Lord Tim Vampire Destroyer, vampires only come out when the sun goes down, hate garlic, and can be destroyed with a stake through the heart. <laughs> hey! What about running water? Isn't that supposed to do something? Well, in issue number 12, Lord Tim melts a bunch of vampires in a jacuzzi by splashing them. A jacuzzi might be hard to lug around, but splashing people with water... We can manage that! Water soakers full! Full! Now, the vampire could be anyone, so remember... Soak first, ask questions later. Let's get them! about that. Uh, we thought you were somebody else. Yeah, vampires! Vamp! Oh! You boys come here right now! Uh-oh! Run! <laughs> yes, the water didn't work. Those are tough vampires, eh? <laughs> I don't know about this vampire hunting thing. Where are you guys going? Mum wants me home early to help stir her gravy. For the gravy toss. She really wants to win this year. First prize is a hat made of potatoes. A potato hat? Come on, you can get one of those anywhere. <gasps> <gasps> is that...? Yeah, a coffin. This means the Colonel's the vampire! No! <gasps> Starch me civvies! Uh, um, uh, get him! <laughs> You've trespassed on private property. Explain yourselves. Well, uh, we, um, uh, I, uh, his parents want to. Invite you to dinner! Yeah, they... Want to what? Why would they want to do that? Uh, you know, uh, to say thank you for keeping us all safe with the Neighbourhood Watch and for um, all your... Uh, all your great stories and um, clean clothes. Well, I have been out late these last few nights. You know, watching the Neighbourhood. Haven't had a good hot meal in days. 
Yeah, except for people. Great! So you'll come. See ya. Dinner with me parents? Terrific. What are you going to do, Dan? Don't panic. I've got an idea. Or I'll get one. Thanks for the dinner invitation. When Dennis practically begged me to come, I was quite touched. He begged you? Our Dennis? Hope you're ready for a long night, because I'm a slow digester. Pie Face, you said something earlier about garlic. In issue 425, Lord Tim defeats a bunch of Italian vampires by using their own pasta against them. Fresh bread! Get it while it's hot! What's the matter? Don't you like garlic? <coughs> Water! Oh no! Let me help you! Ah, get that away! Mirror! Aha! Don't like mirrors either! That settles it! Nasha, attack! <coughs> Dennis, what's got into you? Have you lost your mind? But, Mum, Dad, he's... March right over to the Colonel's and apologise. Now! We'll just have to show him ourselves. <laughs> there he is. Hello? I could use some help out here. Look. Right, sorry. Just cleaning up. Looks like we've got two to tackle, then. I've got dibs on Walter. Potato hat. 